Go ahead, Dynamics. Uh, just FYI, uh, OD227 uh, runout looks like uh, missed distance of 232 meters. Over. 232 meters? That's correct. Less than the divert. Roger. We can expect a brief signal dropout when we switch to the TLGA. <clears throat> We're at three minutes entry. At this time, uh, MRO should begin picking us up. Uh, but remember, we won't get that data for a while. It's got to store it and then uh, send it back down here for us to decode. Uh, we're still seeing heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. Spacecraft should be up to 5.6 kilometers per second. DDL team is reporting that the latest runouts, which is uh, using the latest nav, our best guess of where we are, uh, show us that the uh, best guess of our landing target location is about 232 meters uh, from the uh, landing target. Um, so, looking good so far. We're continuing to receive heartbeat tones. Everything looks good. We're about 90 seconds from entry. Flight dynamics, EDL phase. Go ahead, phase. That last solution was with 227 or OD228? Uh, that is OD227. Thank you. You guys have now OD228 in your possession? Uh, there will be no 228 for us, phase. That's just fine because the difference is One minute entry. within spitting distance. Uh, affirmative. The vehicle will switch antenna shortly. We'll have a short dropout uh, when that occurs in the tones. Uh, it's switching to a tilted antenna that will be used through entry. Thirty seconds to entry. As we come up on entry, uh, we'll expect a two to three second outage in the X-band signal as we switch from the PLGA to the TLGA. We're switching the TLGA, signal's dropped, and it's... We just saw the signal drop, then in case we change antennas. We're, We're seeing heartbeat tones, tones again, again after the switch. Things are looking good. Uh, we got tones back again. Coming up on the tree. The vehicle reports entry interface. At this time, it will begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, it will use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back to heartbeat tones. We are standing by for guided start and the start of guided entry. <laughs> Nav can see the entry the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle is just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is beginning to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first bank reversal. First bank reversal complete. The 
have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight go. We are processing data from Odyssey. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All right. Bank reversal 2 complete. <laughs> Copy bank reversal 2 complete. Thanks. Uh, Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there increases go. to Universal respectable levels. There we go. We are now seeing and we have ICDPs. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. We have entered heading alignment. There it goes. At this time, curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air use minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the error and we should be heading for the target. Play EDL. The TDS warning is okay. Happy? Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the BEV-D instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Sequels reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignment. Uh, we are standing by for straight up and flight right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continue to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. The predicted mission downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL Ops, Odyssey Systems on EDL Ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Oh. Risk mode under our parachute. Our parachute is already and, and and descending. We are at 150 per meters per second. Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, risk mode dynamics. Risk mode is nominal. We are nine kilometers and descending. Valid range. That filter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now to the 8 kilometers. Feet shield step has separated. We've found we the ground. Expand tones due to earth occultation as expected. We're using by to prime the MLE engines in preparation for power flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers and descending. Flight EDL, we got some Tweedo warnings. It is in battle short mode, so it should power through them. Director of communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers and descending. We have lost, act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we are continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters, vertical velocity of minus 82.8 meters per second. We are priming tower satellite start enabled, standing by for batch shell separation. Signal Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight.
We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. About 70 meters per second. Signal to us. Control the air. Down to 50 meters per second. 500 meters in altitude. Yes. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity, accordion, nominal. Altitude error, 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. <laughs> Tango to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you do a calm configure. Rhythm is stable. Rhythm is stable. UHF is good. <laughs> Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> Kicked off, waiting for images. Heads up, folks! PL Ops, the signal to Odyssey remains strong. Fly EDL, all images are starting to come down. We're beginning to get images. Right, we got images from coming down, folks. We do a comp configure Stand standby for images. We do have thumbnails coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. <laughs> At this time, we're standing by for images. <laughs> thumbnails are complete. We've got thumbnails. Poland is complete. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching the stream. There's more stuff. Any minute now. Yeah. No. 2.56. Okay, we're... Okay. So here we are. We're going to start. Go ahead. Okay. So we have landed. We landed out at the time we thought we would. And we now have our first image. We have our first image. Um, this we've got is a 64 by 64 thumbnail. The front, a rear has cam image. You can see the shadow there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle, but uh, we're looking through it. Now, if you, I think in a, just a few minutes, we might get even a, a, two, a, a larger 
250 to 256 uh, frame uh, 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 pixel image um, of that same same end. So we're looking at the shadow. See, the horizon is actually in the distance. You can't really tell that. So we're looking actually at the shadow of the late afternoon sun. Uh, and uh, uh, so these are the rear has cams. These are the rear has cams. And, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It does point. have a dust cover, but it's the dust that covers the problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we have just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. Fantastic. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get, oh yeah, ah! this is the high risk, this is the 256 by 256 image, this is a higher resolution, you see dust particles on the window, uh, you can see the horizon there in the background, and there is, there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars, I can't believe it, this is unbelievable. We, should, we might get another one of these, and if we're lucky, before Odyssey goes away, we'll get two more of these same engines going the other side of the vehicle, and also probably dusty. This is amazing. So that is one of Curiosity's rover wheels, wheels exactly. on the surface of Mars. Yes. Oh wow! We, now we have another. It's another image coming down. This is a view looking the other direction. There's still it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. It's another. This is a another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the of rover. Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. The Odyssey transition is about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.